jailed for giving mass? Only in America. Today's Sunday, October 6th, 2013. One ounce of silver is $22. One Bitcoin is $122. Peace News Now is brought to you by Bitcoin and Silver. From friends of WeUseCoins.com and SonsOfLibertyMint.com. Trade value for value with fine silver quarters from the Sons of Liberty Mint. That's Sons with a U. The most divisible, usable silver on the planet. Order some today. That's Sons with a U. SonsofLibertyMint.com Government is showing its teeth. First, it was the World War II veterans who had to break down barriers to see the open-air memorial erected in their honor. A memorial which is on so-called public land, but is maintained by private funds. And for what? To inflict as much pain as possible through this government shutdown. It's called Washington Monument Syndrome, and it's pure political theater. But now there's a story just coming to light that takes things even further. Because of the shutdown, government-paid priests are being forbidden from celebrating Mass, even on a volunteer basis. Do you feel that this is a violation of the First Amendment? Share your thoughts on the Peace News Now Facebook page. A man set himself on fire on the National Mall Friday afternoon. Joggers used their shirts to douse the flames, and the man was airlifted for medical attention, but he didn't make it. The reason for the self-immolation was not immediately clear, and the man's identity has not yet been disclosed. This story brought to you by friends of blockchain.info. Download the free Bitcoin wallet at blockchain.info. Friday was a field day for trolling government agents. Bitcoin users sent small tips to the federal agents who seized the Silk Road money. Attached to their tips are public notes, which anyone can read, turning the Fed's public wallet address into something of a digital bulletin board where anyone with a few cents can leave a permanent message. Some advertised goods and services, and others pled for the wallet's owners to consider their conscience and stop participating in a senseless war on drugs that solves nothing but only hurts people. Of course, Peace News now got in on the action early, just after a humorous ad from Mandrick.com. Some of the tippers posting on the FBI's blockchain.info wallet page boast of alternative websites for people to buy drugs. They couldn't have found better advertising space at a cheaper price. Black Market Reloaded, Atlantis, and Sheep Marketplace are all new popular Silk Road alternatives. Can the government win the fight against people buying drugs online? Share your thought on the Peace News Now Facebook page. Bureaucrats in Switzerland have written a law that the government has to guarantee an income of $2,800 a month for all adults. This unconditional money from the state is alleged to provide a financial safety net for the population. Swiss bureaucrats will vote on this new law in November. In a confusing display this Friday, supporters of the guaranteed income law paid a dump truck to dump 8 million Swiss coins on the ground, one for every Swiss person. What do you think? Tweet us at Peace News Now. Enrollment in state-run healthcare schemes began this week, and applicants in Kentucky learned that they can fill out a form for someone who's recently died. It turns out the government will cover health expenses for individuals who died while eligible for Medicaid benefits, even if they weren't enrolled at the time they died. Do you think this is compassionate or hazardous? Share your thoughts in the comments section on YouTube. Even the most Obama-worshipping news outlets have been mocking the massive fail that is Obamacare. The Washington Post reported on how they and other news outlets can't find anyone who has signed up for the scheme. Even MSNBC abandoned a segment demonstrating how to sign up for Obamacare due to glitches with the website. Others who have been able to get past the glitches have been shocked to learn that Obamacare offers less coverage than their current plan, and at a higher cost. Imagine that, a government program that doesn't deliver on its promises. Baker's Green Acres put out an awesome trailer on their channel recently. A documentary called American Hogwash is in production and tells the tale of Mark Baker and his family. They're small farmers up against big government. Bureaucrats want Mark's family to slaughter their own perfectly healthy pigs because they don't meet the standard description of factory farm pigs. That's hogwash. Support the Bakers today at bakersgreenacres.com. Peace News Now is on the next news network and is brought to you by friends of WeUseCoins.com and SonsOfLibertyMint.com. Share this episode with your friends, and if you enjoyed it, send some Bitcoin to donate.peacenewsnow.com. I'm Derek J, reminding you that peace is the way.